happy Friday to you and yours, and welcome to another edition of the Friday Funnies. Let me just start out this week by saying I am surprised. I'm surprised that it's already the middle of August and Donald Trump has not yet exploded. Oh sure, he lit the fuse, but he has yet to burst into flames like a giant gas bag. You know, first he attacked Megyn Kelly for answer, asking him tough questions. Now he's gone after Secretary of State Kerry making fun because he fell off his bicycle and broke his leg. You know, Donald, it's really, really low to kick a man who can't kick back. On the Democrat side of the coin, Bernie Sanders has jumped ahead of Hillary Clinton in the New Hampshire poll. And Hillary responded to the poll by saying, hey, hey, I'm, I'm a socialist too. Bill is a socialist. We just bought a place down in Cuba. So if socialist Bernie Sanders winds up facing Donald Trump next November, the country is going to be in very dire shape. But comedy will experience halcyon days. So stay tuned to that. None of the characters involved in this week's funnies are currently running for president, but that could change at any moment. Scientists in Johannesburg, South Africa, have been analyzing fragments of clay pipes found in Shakespeare's backyard at his Strat Stratford-upon-Avon residence in England. Those pipe fragments, as well as others found around town, are over 400 years old and were discovered all to contain cannabis residue. This means that Shakespeare may have toked in the garden a little bit before he went inside to write. And if he did, that explains a lot. Because that means Shakespeare is hard to understand when you're sober. But I think a puff or two before watching Two Gentlemen of Verona might put you in the same frame of mind as the author when he wrote it. And the jokes will finally be funny. <laughs> Well, they may have smoked pot in England 400 years ago, but this week they discovered a new high-tech way to catch a buzz. A bar named Alcoholic Architecture offers breathable booze. They use a humidifier to turn gin into a vapor and you ingest it by breathing it as well as absorbing it through your skin. So the alcohol bypasses the liver and goes right to your brain so you get gooned up in record time. Now, they, the, the success of this, so they're, they're currently working on a device that turns kidney pie into a sunscreen, so it bypasses both your stomach and your taste buds. A French family was on vacation with their three children on their way to the French seaside. They stopped at a rest stop along the way, and when they were fully rested, they piled back into the car and headed down the road. Unfortunately, at this time, they only had two of the kids with them. The three-year-old girl was left behind at the rest stop. Another family noticed her all by herself, called the police. The police put out an all-points bulletin on the radio. So the family, they're cruising along in their car 90 miles down the road when they hear the radio announcement and they freaked out. Even the kids in the back seat freaked out because nobody realized the three-year-old was missing. To which I got to answer, nobody noticed? I got to say uh, WTF, but I don't know what that stands for in French. Anyhow, they picked up the little girl at the local police station. They took car attendance five times before heading back down the road. Well, that's it for this week, my friends. You're free to return to whatever you were doing beforehand, hopefully with a smile on your face. And I'll see you back here next Friday.